Good morning, happy Friday. I have Neuro Coffee in hand and yes, it is perfect as usual. So I had a question come in from YouTube and it comes from Gabriel. Gabriel wants to understand uh, how we're using different types of exhalation strategies um, to influence uh, muscle recruitment. And so he asks, uh, why is it that an increased airway resistance in a pursed lift exhale has a facilitatory bias towards external oblique activation while decreased airway resistance with an open relaxed jaw exhale biases more towards internal oblique activation? Is the difference in airway resistance even the mechanism driving the bias between the different muscle groups? So let's, let's clarify this just a little bit as to what he's asking. So there's, there's two strategies that we would use for an exhalation under certain circumstances to overcome the compensatory breathing strategies. And so with a wide, we will tend to use a pursed lift, higher resistance exhalation. And with a narrow, we're gonna use a more relaxed jaw, open mouth, kind of a heavy sigh, kind of an exhalation um, for, for good reason. So with the wide ISA, what we have is an eccentrically oriented external oblique and we want to close the ISA to overcome the compensatory strategy. So what I would do under those circumstances is create more resistance with my exhalation. And what that does is it increases the recruitment of the more superficial musculature because it's again, it's a higher resistance strategy. And the external oblique being superficial will help us close the ISA and overcome the compensatory strategy. With the narrow, I already have that recruitment of the external oblique. And so rather than looking at this as an internal oblique versus an external oblique thing, Gabriel, what I would say is it's more of a reduction of this superficial strategy, more so than trying to say, I wanna increase internal oblique more. Um, I, I, again, I don't wanna make that leap. I can't say yes, I can't say no, but again, I look at this as more of increasing the superficial strategy or reducing the superficial strategy. So when I do the relaxed breath, sort of like the heavy sigh, kind of the fog up the window or fog up the mirror concept with your breath, what I'm doing is I'm slowly ramping up the pressure inside the thorax. And in doing so, I'm less likely to increase the recruitment of that external oblique, which would keep the ISA closed. And another byproduct of too much resistance at the mouth when I have a narrow ISA is that I ramp up the thoracic pressure very, very quickly. And that actually traps air inside the thorax, which is also what I don't want because under those circumstances, I wouldn't be able to rebend the ribs. So remember that the narrow ISAs have straighter ribs, thus the, the, the narrowing of that ISA. What I wanna do is create a bending of those ribs during the exhalation. So again, I wanna ramp up that thoracic pressure just a little bit slower. So to review with the wide ISAs, high resistance exhalation strategy to increase the external beak recruitment to overcome the wide ISA and close it down. And then with the narrow ISA, I'm gonna ramp up that, that internal pressure a little bit slower with a less resistance at the mouth to allow me to uh, allow the ISA to open and rebend those ribs during exhalation. So it, to answer your question directly, Gabriel, it is the difference in the, the airway resistance that's going to alter those strategies and allow me to influence the outcome in a favorable way. So I hope that answers your question. I hope you guys have a great Friday. We're rolling into the weekend. So if you have questions or video suggestions, um, go to the Instagram page and, and post them up or post a comment on one of the YouTube videos. Happy to answer those as well. And then don't forget askbillhartman at gmail.com with ask Bill Hartman a question in the subject line. I will see you guys later. I'm gonna go enjoy my neuro coffee and then I'm off to iFast for killer, uh, let's see, we're doing extremities today. So we're doing um, arms and legs, uh, mostly, mostly. And so again, have a great day.